we got here is a behemoth of a bow. This guy is 110 pounds, 27 inches. And we reinforced this thing. It's got a solid FR4 riser. Most people will know this material as G10. I made this into a two piece. I reinforced it with carbon throughout. It's got layers of carbon. Um, socket and tenon system. We're gonna be taking this bow, tuning it out. It's partially tuned, tips are done, risers carved. We threw together a mechanism for shooting it because none of us can draw it here, but I gotta finish tuning it first, so that's where we'll start. So we're gonna string this up and we'll check it and make sure. I think it's just a little bit crooked, so we'll straighten that first of all. Yeah. That was just the glue. Just a hair out to that side, which is where I had it marked. Just a hair out to that side. So we'll take just a little bit off of that on the trap. We'll do that right here. Double check that and see what we did. That straightened up real nicely on the lower limb. Well, I'm gonna have to take a little more off. The top limb still needs some better check the weight on this thing. Make sure I'm still okay. if you don't drop it. Drop it. I just have to adjust the tiller a little bit. With a heavy bow like this, you don't have to a little tiny bit of action on, re on removing material changes the weight drastically. So you have to be super careful. A little tiny bit more. Okay, that's perfectly straight now. tuned right now 
we'll take out the scratches here real quick and then we're going to shoot it. This pneumatic sander here runs at 1725 RP amps and uh, with that kind of speed you're you're sanding a bow limb and say you catch it like on here or you catch it down there a quarter of a second will dig an eighth inch hole it's a very scary machine that's why nick can't run it here we go we gotta count these strokes very very important being ready for that thing. Good fit. Oh, Vince, he's not quite ready. I'll take the sleeve off and we'll get that machine right. 